And now, on behalf of Laura, my wife, <laughs> that's good. I, I had a way written in there, so that's good. Yeah, there's, there's going to be a number of toasts in this speech, so please make sure your glasses are full. Uh, my aim is to get you so drunk that you don't remember the best man's speech. <laughs> Seriously, thank you, Laura, for all your hard work in putting this day together. You've been the driving force behind it, and your attention to de detail, thoughtfulness, and preparation has been outstanding. You should take most of the credit for what has been an amazing day. The first time was at a party at Bo's house, and then again at Tom's. This time a Hawaiian-themed party. Fortunately, it was very summery. Laura was in a grass skirt that, as, as Dad said, looked like it had been run over by a lawnmower. <laughs> <laughs> Once I realised this, it was of course at that point we started chatting. After which Laura, although she asked her cousin Libby for my number, waited for me to contact her. Uh, we met up a few times, going for walks in Hempstead Forest. We seemed to have this funny thing of trying to, of trying to convince each other. We were very much into exercising and super fit. <laughs> it's not the case. I, 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 I might be skinny, but I'm a skinny fat man. <laughs> I love cheese and chocolate. When the guys came around to blow. I did know, I knew from the very beginning, I wanted to marry her. When it finally came to popping the question, I decided on a country, but not a location. After asking Gary's permission, as you've heard, uh, it definitely wasn't like that. <laughs> supposed to be between us. <laughs> uh, we we travelled to Botswana on a safari. Mum was given the ring to look after and kept it in their truck. One of the nights we slept out in the Kalahari, in tents that fold out from the roof of your truck. All night we could hear roaring and screeching of animals. It was only in the morning that we discovered that lion footprints, un the lion footprints underneath our tent. It occurred to me that I must have just saved Laura's life. <laughs> Biggest compliment, really. Um, and really why we're here. Uh, she, she, would have, she, she would have been absolutely gutted to have waited all the time for me to get eaten. But because I'm a vegetarian, they must not have been interested in us. Fortunately, the ring was still in the car uh, with Mum, so she could have had that as a memento, I guess, but... Uh, <laughs> when I did finally pop the question, we walked up these steps into a remote hide uh, with a beautiful view behind us. I got down on one knee and asked her if she'd marry me. It was followed by what felt like an absolute age of silence, where I think she must have forgot... She must have thought, oh God, I've got to deal with having a husband as a vegetarian for the rest of my life. <laughs> but then she must have realised, same as me, that I saved her life just a few days before. <laughs> and at that point, the words yes, of course, came out. <laughs> One night to be 
On a more serious note, the bond between a father and daughter is an amazing thing. And the day Laura was born, I realised the depth of love I had never known before. You stole my heart. <clears throat> and uh, let's try a drink. <laughs> yeah, you stole my heart. And from the moment I set eyes on you, and today my heart was bursting with pride and joy. A daughter is a wonderful gift from God. They come down, they're soft and sweet and they laugh and they look at you like you're the most important person in the world. And you say, God, what did I do to deserve this? And then God shows you he has a sense of humour. Because <laughs> 11 months later, he sends you a second daughter. Now, now you're up all night and there's all the crying and their mother says, please stop crying and take care of Laura and Amy. I call upon these persons here present to witness that I, Roland Andrew Sims, to witness that I, Roland Andrew Sims, do take thee, Laura May Hill, do take thee, Laura May Hill, to be my lawful wedded wife, to be my lawful wedded wife, to come. Love you unconditionally. To support you in your goals. To support you in your goals. To honour and respect you. To honour and respect you. To laugh with you and cry with you. To laugh with you and cry with you. And to cherish you. And to cherish you. For as long as we both shall live. For as long as we both shall live. Welcome everybody, family and friends. Uh, Laura and I would like to thank you for thank everyone for coming and sharing our special day. Uh, it really wouldn't be the same without you all. We're so lucky to have such a large group of amazing friends and family. Uh, you've all travelled to be here, which we're so thankful for. Some of you have journeyed vast distances from places including Switzerland, Qatar, he and Henry, wherever you are, all the way from all the way from Sydney. So thank you. I first met Roland at Dulwich School, where we bonded over a shared love of the outdoors and water sports, and we soon became close friends. After one rather memorable school disco, where a certain Benedict Girls School were in attendance, Roland and I developed a passionate interest into uh, after school swim classes. <laughs> this was entirely unrelated to the fact that they were held at Benedict Girls School. <laughs> At the time, I think uh, we convinced Liz and my mum that uh, it was a swim class that we were interested in. Uh, sadly for Rodan, this wouldn't be his last foray into the murky world of underage girls. <laughs> the beautiful and elegant blonde dancing majestically across the dance floor. He awkwardly and embarrassingly danced his way across and said, Hey, my name's Roland Sims. <laughs> and I'm going to inherit a successful coach company. <laughs> In Gatwick, Roland made us all sign a non-disclosure agreement. <laughs> <laughs> How
However, luckily for all of you, Roland's financial reserves have taken a battering following this wedding, and I'm therefore confident he does not have the finances left to fund a legal battle. <laughs> I know he would do anything for Laura, and I cannot think of a more worthy person to have taken her hand in marriage. I'd therefore like to raise a toast to the new Mr. and Mrs. Sims. Give you this ring. As a symbol of our marriage. As a symbol of our marriage. And as a pledge of my love. And as a pledge of my love. Friendship and commitment. Friendship and commitment. Today and always. Today and always. Today and always.